famous. Yes, how how will people know of your stories if we do not broadcast them across the Googles? All right, the adventurers have left the House of Three Squires and are returning to Elpheus Tower, the Wizard's Tower, with uh, much traffic coming in and out. Uh, and we have a new adventurer. Alex, have you uh, found a decent character sheet? Al, can you hear me? Al, you got anything? Barely. You're, you're, it's like slow motion. <laughs> Fun times. Uh, you want me to do things to you over over uh, uh, chat? Would that make it easier for me to ask, ask you specific questions? All right, I'm going to try. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so as you return to Althea's Tower, we... Okay. Glad I did not roll a snake eyes there. Okay. So, uh, before you arrive at the tower, do either of you have any checks? I'm check-free. Check-free? Okay. Excellent. Yeah, I think I am as well. Okay, great. And and Clegg, if you were, uh, Clegg, if you were, um, uh, if you had hungry and thirsty, you are welcome to remove that condition as okay. well. There'd be no problem with you, you know, just as Miles, uh, ju just as Milton did. Done. Uh, Okay, I'm trying to talk to Al over chat, figure out what's going on with it, with his connection. Cool. So, uh, do you have any uh, fresh rations? No. No, I'm okay. out of rations. Great. Well, that's, you know, a good thing to... Uh, guilds. All right, 43. Ah, of course the goldsmiths are on watch. Naturally, there would be goldsmiths in uh, <clears throat> in Elpheus Tower. I'll be right back. I just realized I don't have a pencil. One moment. I'm level two now. <coughs> uh, Clegg, I hope it's okay because I wanted to go to the office tower. All right. Fine with me. So, um, okay. So, what we know about Elphia's Tower is that it is a large, is a bustling community with a school attached and a dungeon underneath. A lot of trade goes back and forth, but you have to watch out for the uh, the intrigue in the city. Um, Milton, can you tell me who is the leader of the uh, the Guild of Goldsmiths? Goldsmiths. Yeah. Okay, uh, I think it's Alan. Alan, the uh, the alchemist. He's my friend, my good friend. Uh, but is Alan's an he... alchemist. Is he also a goldsmith? Um, I, goldsmithing is uh, what skill? I'm not sure. Uh, it would be the smith skill. <clears throat> okay, so... Um, uh, then he is, he is not the leader. Okay. Yeah, because there is there are there is a guild of alchemists. So I think ah, okay. So no, then uh, <clears throat> I don't know him. 
Um, that's okay. You certainly can um, know of him. I mean, unless I, you want to make him your uh, enemy, uh, that's Susan. even more interesting. Susan. Susan? Yes. Excellent. Susan the Smith? <coughs> Susan the Smith. Excellent. Does she know your parents? Um, I'm an orphan, so... Oh, you're an orphan. Ah, uh, uh, of course. I'm pretty sure she does not know my parents. Well, well, maybe she knew. Who knows? Okay, very good. All right, so we have the goldsmiths on watch. See if that runs in, runs you into any problem. And we have a minor inconvenience as you arrive. At least it's not a disaster. Minor inconveniences. All right, there are new laws since you left Elfia last time. Sumptuary laws. Okay. Um, Okay, so um, what is on your head, Milton? Um, nothing. All right. Well, prepare for there to possibly be something. As you enter... <clears throat> As you enter, uh, there are no gates per se at at Elphia's tower, but there are certainly are uh, guards to keep out bandits and beasts. And uh, the uh, the guards uh, in this case um, are, are well armed. While they are though, while ugh, words let's use let's use our mouth words. While they do appear to be armed are not brandishing any of their weapons. Uh, instead, they're having a heated discussion about the, the, about the proper temperature at which, to, um, at which to heat various alloys uh, so that they combine without, uh, without damaging the surface of the, of the uh, product. And uh, it seems to be a, uh, a, a possibly an argument that has gone on for years um, just like two brewers would argue about what sort of hops to use, Clay, you can recognize this kind of argument as uh, something between two professionals. Um, we're both, you're sure, they probably do just fine at whatever they do. But to them, these little important, these distinctions, like for you, which kind of, you know, how, how late you should pick an herb to get it just right, uh, uh, these, these sort of distinctions would be very important. And uh, they... And they greet you at the gates, or, uh, right, there are no gates, but they greet you as you enter. Um, and they are uh, Rastin and Juliet. Both Colts. Um, because Town Phase is not meant to be it's meant to be more bookkeeping than adventuring. Uh, Milton, I will just let you know that they point out to you as you enter that due to some of the duplicity that has taken place in Alpha, uh, Alpheus Tower, um, that all wizards and magicians, sorcerers and enchanters, magic users and otherwise in, those inclined to the arcane arts, have now been required to wear conical hats to identify themselves. <coughs> Failure to do so is publishing is punished by whipping or a fine. Rough. Yeah, it's a new sumptuary law. I need a hat. <laughs> yeah. So uh, not something you expected. But, uh, but Clegg, apparently all that deception has gotten some people in trouble, and Elfia, in order to establish order in her community, has uh, required that all magicians identify themselves so that nobody 
nobody works with someone uh, that could possibly ensorcel them without knowing of it. And uh, the identification is a conical hat. Seems reasonable to me. Yeah. So, uh, so welcome home. All right. So, um, how familiar are either of you guys with Town Phase? Me, not at all. Okay. Other than Much what I've read in the book. A little bit. A it little bit? Okay. Works like we do some things, and at the end, we pay. Yep. 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 Um, so, I'm just going to go through, because I've only run Town Phase once, I'm just going to go through the, 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 the the procedures, which we've, which I've already been doing, which was who's on watch and roll for events. The event was a new sumptuary law. Um, uh, to the dogs, all your fresh rations rot, uh, and level up. I think both of you have spent two persona, or sorry, three persona and three fate. Correct? Yep. At least. Yes. Three. Wonderful. So you both are now level two. Huzzah! <laughs> All right, so Milton, you are able to prepare a second. Um, spell. You're able to prepare a second spell, and when you go home, you will get another spell, I believe. I think yes, so. uh, my mentor will teach me for free another spell he knows. Wonderful. So we'll uh, we'll roll randomly, and if it's a spell that you already have. Uh, we'll re-roll, because presumably he taught you that one already. Um, yes. And, uh, and uh, Clegg, as a Dwarven adventurer, you have, I believe, two choices. Uh, I think something with armor. Levels. 111. Uh, Dwarven adventurer. And yes. you get armor or shrewd. Yeah. So armor is the is the warrior ability that um, that heavy armor and shields do not count as a factor when you're recovering from the exhausted condition. Okay. Um, so and uh, shrewd is that um, you can hey this is perhaps important is that you can use the haggler ability in town without increasing your lifestyle. And since you're going into town right now, and that would be immediately a benefit. Family of hagglers, so it would make sense for me to uh, to be said haggler. Awesome. In cool. the blood, as On they the say. back of your character sheets, write down um, under the level benefits. Clay, go ahead and write down um, uh, the, your title. I don't. I don't think you get a title actually. No. You should put the micro back to your mouth. Is that better? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so M Milton is now no longer an apprentice, but now a neophyte. Doesn't that still seem kind of like an apprentice? Just a yes, but uh, the art is never learned. Uh, the learning of the art is never finished. So. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. My level requirements benefit goes up to level ten. Yes, I hope so. Um, okay, excellent. Uh, yeah. So, so you get one additional spell, and you will learn one, um, a, a new one in your spell book, and. Uh, and uh, yeah, Clay, you just you get shrewd. So it's perfect because the next thing to do is determine whether or not you want to haggle. Yeah. Yeah. So um, if you haggle, um, if you're so inclined, you can haggle over prices with the shopkeepers and merchants when you're in town. Rather than making individual tests, make one haggler test against the town. Note this test does not count. Uh, does count towards your lifestyle, so there's some risk involved. Haggling is always done individually. If you're successful, you may choose to keep the result that you rolled on the haggling table or the next higher result. If failed, subtract your margin of failure from the result. But so, it doesn't affect my lifestyle because of my fancy new ability, right? Exactly. So if you want to haggle right now, Clay, if you if you intend to haggle, go ahead and make a haggling roll. It is individual, but you could use your traits or uh, nature if you wanted to. 
an action. I thought I, you know, apparently not trained in that. Um, but I can use my clever trait, yeah. Certainly. Um, how would you be clever while you're haggling? I will point um, out that there are people, lots of people in hats. Well, but hats don't make a merchant, is all I'm saying. Right. And uh, being from a family of merchants, uh, I can spot quality, and I can spot when I'm trying to be, uh, I'm, I'm trying to, someone's trying to get one over on me. Uh, so I am, I'm, I'm well prepared for that sort of thing. My mother and father taught me uh, very well. Awesome. We're awesome. Go ahead and roll your haggler. So, so haggler is going to be will. So uh, what's half your will rounded up? Uh, two. All right. Uh, and then add one D for my clever. Yes. I mean, I got oh, two five and, and the ob is four. Sorry. Well, I got two five. I can't. That's not possible then. Um, but well, you. No problem. Uh, the better you roll, the better because it will affect my. Um, okay. My two roll five. on the haggler table. Two fives and a six, so all three successes. Fantastic. Do you want to spend a fate to explode that six? Yeah, that'd be awesome. We'll see what happens with that. I don't think it's a bad idea. Another six. What? Keep going. That's four. And a three. No good. So four. Nice. You nailed it. You succeeded in haggling. So go ahead and mark a, um, a, a beginner's luck test for haggler. Yep. Not with that pencil. And then I'm going to roll on the haggling table, and you can take... Um, the results I get, or the result that's one higher. All right, I rolled a nine. All right, <clears throat> hard bargain. When buying something at the market, take an extra item for the same price. Fancy. Or, since you succeeded, you can take thriftiness. Add plus one D to resources for your lifestyle test. Which one do you want? Hmm. If you're primarily coming into town to get rid of conditions, I would take thriftiness. Well, that's if you're primarily coming to town to resupply in goods, I would take hard bargain. Well, hard bargain. I'm out of goods and need to clear conditions, but uh, I think conditions are probably a little bit more good. So we'll take the thriftiness. Plus you're going to take thriftiness? Okay. Yeah, so when you so you're gonna make multiple resources tests, but the most important one is your um, leaving town test, and you're gonna get plus one D to that. Yeah. All right, life in town is expensive. The longer you stay, the more debt you accumulate. Um. All right. Um. One of the <coughs> caravans I will note I will note to you, Milton, is that some several of the caravans look. Um, Unfamiliar to you, as though people have traveled from far, far away. Uh, uh, one thing, uh, I think because my mentor lives in town, it's possible for me to stay with him um, for free. I believe. Um, I do believe that is true. One moment. Takes me a, takes me a second to um, uh, I know there is a uh, page ninety, I just found it. It's uh, under the town locations uh, this home. If your friend, mentor, or enemy resides in a town, you can stay with them for free. The GM determines the equivalent level of accommodation. Stables, flop house, inn or hotel. All right. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, well, your mentor. Uh, I I I envisioned um, a, uh, I envision um, magic magician apprentices as having hard lives as one reason why you would leave in the first place. Um, I'm thinking very much of Karate Kid, wax on, wax off, sort of do menial labor, and then I'll teach you magic in the morning. Uh, so, uh, but but it's not going to be so bad as staying in a stable. Uh, your 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 you, your mentor has a uh, a nice home of his own, 
and uh, you know that you can sleep in the common room in the inside the house. So uh, for for you staying with you, staying at your mentors is like staying at a flop house. Okay, that's bad because then I can't recover from exhausted. Why not? That's yeah, you can. Only condition because flop houses explicitly say you will recover, excluding exhausted. Oh, I think that's the additional condition. No, so uh, I can get one test for removing exhausted, but not another one, right? Yeah, you, you may make one free recovery test for anything. You may recover from one additional condition. Oh, I see. So, yeah, you get one free test, and then you can recover from an additional condition, except for exhausted or sick, during your yes. stay. So, so yeah. is exhausted your only condition? Is exhausted your only condition? Yes. Then make that test, and <laughs> you're all good. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, um, it, right. it, the free test uh, is done uh, as soon as uh, needed. Okay. Then I have a nice problem because my health is four. And exhausted is an op three health test, but I had to cast a spell. Now I'm at op four. Well, perhaps you want to do something before um, um, All right. So um, you can attend a personal business if you want to. So um, before uh, before um, making that uh, that uh, recovery test, you you could uh, brew some alchemical concoctions to aid yourself in recovery, and at your mentor's place, it will increase your lifestyle, but but it would um, give you an opportunity to make a test to try and um, improve it to. Uh, Make yourself a poultice or something like that to to aid in recovering from exhausted. Uh, I grant yourself a die. My problem is I don't see me. Uh, I don't have the right skills to help me with my. Uh, well, it's too difficult also, but uh, I I will get rid of uh, being exhausted. It's possibly. For me to <coughs> use persona points, right? Absolutely. So I will add two not two other dice. Sounds good. Um, let me throw out one other. Okay, remove a condition. I see what you're saying. Um, you need a healer. You need a healer to give you a poultice for exhaustion. Yes. And the only healer is not available right now. Um, so, well, I would, uh, if you wanted to beginner's luck it, you certainly could do that. I wouldn't let you do that in a dungeon. Well, I, I just use my persona points. I hope I get rid of it. Sounds good. I, my goal for today is. Uh, get fresh. I hope you get fresh. So I will try to beat the resource test at the end and get rid of exhausted. So I put some persona points in and everything will be fine. So, rolling six dice versus op four. That looks great. Yes, I got four successes. Awesome. Mark a, uh, mark a successful health test and um, mark a successful health test and remove that exhaustion. All right, Clegg, let's handle. Let's figure out where you're going to stay. So right. in this wizard's tower, there are the following accommodations available to you. It looks like M Milton has gone off to stay with his mentor. Milton, what's your mentor's name again? Uh, it's Paul, the survivalist, but uh, he's also. A great magician. Paul the survivalist? Awesome. I like it. Paul strikes me as a sort of outdoor yoga magician. 
of course. Only uh, without distractions in the nature, you can uh, get the best out of you. Yep. So I think he's going to take you out and uh, teach you. Uh, easy. Paul sees that you are um, that your experience has uh, broadened your horizons. Um, that you are ready for the next um, for the next uh, challenge. And when you are out and about, he teaches you the arts of channeling your will into a destructive force that would smite thine enemy. Do you already have Eldritch Starts? Uh, I did not learn such uh, mighty magic from him, so I'm very proud to... It's uh, cold. Uh, I find it. You can uh, help collect with this uh, recommendation in Tom. I will search for the spell name. Well, the, the spell he had, I'm just wondering if you already know it, but the spell that I rolled up was Eldritch Darts. Yes. So, it's wonderful because. Now I'm a great help in uh, fight conflicts. Wonderful, yeah. So you guys practice uh, some that you've learned, because you have Wizards Aegis already, right? No, I didn't have. Oh, you didn't. Okay. I just had Wisdom of Sages, Supernal Vision, and Mystic Portal. Okay. That's my first... Uh, Combat. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Well, from, from the tales you tell him of the fights that you encountered, he thinks that you are uh, that you are now ready for Eldritch Starts. All right. So while they're off uh, in the woods practicing their arcane arts, like, um, where do you want to stay? Um, we have quite a few options here. Um, there is a a tavern um, where travelers often come, and uh, for the price of a few coins, you can eat there during the day and sleep uh, by the fire at night. You'll be in a common area where others, and you have to watch your watch your possessions to make sure pickpockets don't steal from you in the night. Uh, you're sleeping on. Sorry. I said I lost almost all my stuff, anyways. Right. Um, or, which is a flop house, which is the same as at Milton and Stangham. Or, uh, you can, if you're willing to pay the price for it, you can stay in the Elphia's Tower itself. They have the finest accommodations. Um, often when visiting dignitaries, um, often when visiting dignitaries uh, come into the area, they are housed there. But for the likes of you, you have to pay real coin. So you can stay at either a flop house or a hotel. I think flop house is more my style. All right. You can also sleep in the streets or the stables. That's always an option, which is just like... No, flop house is the way to go. Awesome. So you get one. So uh, go ahead and mark a, a lifestyle check on your town section of your character sheet. It's on the backhand side. Got it. And um, and you're going to get one free recovery. What what conditions do you have right now? Uh, I have. It looks like angry and exhausted. Does that seem right? All right, if you have angry and exhausted, I might suggest not staying at the flop house. Yeah. Only because you're going to get one removal, uh, which you can get rid of angry, and then one more that you can pay for, but it can't get rid of exhausted or sick. Mm. So you're not if you go get... to the inn, you also get a bonus die for removing exhausted. I think. It wasn't on the table, though, was it? It was hotel and flop house, right? Oh. It was. Um, well, well, well uh, yeah, I, it, it's prominent enough. We'll, we'll say that there's an inn there as well. It's not It's not okay. staying in the tower itself. But so it's too lifestyle then for, for that, yeah? Yep. Yeah. An inn is uh, too lifestyle. And if you do additional recovery uh, tests, uh, then they cost... So you, you get to make one free... Uh, recovery and then um, two. Uh, well, staying two at the end of your. Hmm. 
Mm, maybe I'm make maybe two my... free recovery, make two free recovery tests and one additional recovery test at your expense. Wow. The, While uh... the end, you may recover from any type of condition and take but take plus one. Uh, okay. Recovery. I was just reading the rest. Of, yeah. Yep. So you get two free recovery tests. All right. And you're gonna have plus one D at both of them. So why don't you go for that now so we can handle all get rid of all your conditions. And what do I roll for that? All right, Sorry. so to get rid of angry, no problem. You're gonna be rolling will, and your ob is two, and you've got plus one because of the fine, because of the fine mold beer that they'll uh, that they'll serve here. That's two. With the plus one. Excellent. You got two successes. Yep. Wonderful. You've come back as a hero. How could you possibly be angry? Right. Pretty great. These are good. And then it's an off three health test for the next one. Yep, unless you've uh, used a shield, Please. worn armor, carried a large full set. Uh, no, I did have a shield, actually, yeah. Did, did you use it? I don't ever remember using it. Yeah, I don't I don't think I ever used it. I don't think you used it. I think you used your sword. I think you had a shield, but I don't I remember using it. I use that, but I don't ever remember using the shield, so yeah. Okay, so yeah, so it's an ob three health test, and you also have plus one die from uh, the comfy beds at the end. And from health, and it's on my health, right? Which makes it six. One, two, three, three. Excellent. Mark a uh, mark a, pa a <clears throat> successful health and a successful will for your angry removal. And you are no longer exhausted. Fantastic. Okay, fantastic. Um, one question. Yeah. Uh, conical heads yep. seems like an important item to have in Elfia's Tower. Uh, as well, soon as I arrive with my mentor, I will ask him for a spare conical head. But if he doesn't provide one, I will, of course, search at the market for such a thing. Yeah, he says, uh, you know, they're they're very personal. Every wizard has their sort of, he, he shows you the one that he, uh, he commissioned a weaver to make him a hat. And uh, it has both, a, it has a crescent moon with a star in the middle of it. And uh, tells you all about it and how uh, delighted he is with his uh, with his hat. And he's also very happy. He only has to wear it while he's in town because it's very impractical while traveling. Yes. Uh, he says, uh, if you're worried, you can sneak out with my hat during the day because he cares for you so much. But he highly recommends getting one yourself. They're very fashionable. So, um, so you can try and slip around. We'll see. Uh, we'll see whether or not you're caught at some point uh, wearing his hat, um, or you can go and search one out. He's happy to loan you his. Um. So. Um. I'm asking myself what kind of, uh, it's, it would be Weaver to uh, build one. Yes, yeah, you could you could sell your own, um, certainly. Or I could uh, look at the market. Yep, for yeah, you could go to market. You could ask Clegg to make you one. <laughs> so yeah, even though town rolls are made independently, you can certainly still make rolls for each other and things like that. Yes, okay, so I think... Um, the first thing I would like to do is do personal business and try to open the chest. All right. Uh, yeah, so it's got a lock on it. The key was never found. Um, uh, yeah, how are you going to open it up? Um, it's, got, it's got a pretty, it's got a meaty padlock on it. it. You know, it's got the standard like loop and a little bolt and a padlock going through it. Um, I think it should be possible to break it open. It seems possible. Because I don't need to be stealthy. Uh, is it, could I um, 
for something between and uh, with leverage, uh, rip it off uh, uh, the chest of the wood and it pops open. Yep, sounds good to me. All right, go ahead and make a health test. Just pop this lock off. And, uh, and, and this, because it's personal business, any personal business not covered by other categories adds your expense all down. If players come up with activity not covered here, um, Cross so uh, you, you certainly, Clegg, you could certainly aid in this. Yep. Be happy to do it. Want. Unless, unless, unless you're going to be hiding away uh, while you do this, uh, Milton, Clegg, Clegg can assist you. Um, the last thing I said uh, was I wanted to, for the <coughs> uh, bad days I had in the dungeon under the house, I said I wanted to get uh, the treasures out. So uh, carrying this chest and opening it is it's personal business. I wanted to get open. So do you have to tell me the op for opening it? Uh, oh yes, but but I. I uh was wondering before first if Clegg was going to help you. I will certainly tell you the odd before you roll, uh, but, uh, he, but he not before to, I right. find out if Clegg wants to help. Clegg would be happy to help. That's what he said. Yeah. Right, right, so, right. So, so I'm wondering if you're accepting his help. Yes, of course. Okay. Because Excellent. Uh, I would like to share all the treasures I, f I find inside this chest. Clegg would like that too. <laughs> Throw that. All right. Cool. So go. So Clegg uh, can give you a can give you a a, a helping die because uh, just yes. help. Anybody can probably. Have it. And you're looking at an ob two to just bust this lock off. Okay. So I don't think I need uh, to get persona. It should be fine. I have five dice and three successes. Okay. I open the chest. Ah. You open it up, and inside is a number of personal mementos that are sentimental and uh, letters from uh, Ronwald's wife to him in a time when they were separated, uh, uh, little tokens of their affection, um, and a um, and uh, some some very crude. Uh, drawings or uh, other uh, children's creations made made by his uh, uh, no no Elsa was not his daughter sorry um, uh, some um, uh, number of personal effects and a and a nice heavy uh, pouch of coin um, uh, in there is uh, two dice of cash in silver oh, wonderful so. <clears throat> Uh, if I'm right, we have eight cash dollars, right? Uh, yeah. Well, that we've got this. Um, and and uh, we have uh, items worth two dollars of cash each. Uh, so three uh, of the house of the three squires beer kegs. Right, right, right. Between the kegs and the coin, that's eight dice. But I'm pretty sure you guys also have a few other. Um, Items on you from inside the dungeon. Uh, I don't have any items. All right. What about you? Uh, I, I just have one sp uh, one scroll, but I don't think I can sell it. No, no. No, I don't. I don't have anything. Anything that I had that was in my backpack, I think I lost when I lost my backpack. <laughs> oh God. Oh my goodness. Um. What about? <laughs> uh, wow. Wow. Well, what about? Um. What it's about? possible that Miles has some of the items. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I mean, I don't have anybody's character sheets. I mean, I know there were several. Uh, I mean, like uh, Crooked Tooth, she had uh, yeah, a uh, necklace that, that someone took that was worth two dice. Um, uh, Chris uh, did take it after we killed her. Oh. Uh, 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 Thralson took it? Okay. Yes, for, I think. Uh, hold on a second. I'm going to go through real quick. and. Uh, yeah. Well, clearly neither of you did. <laughs> um, 
Uh, I'm not inclined to take give you gear that Thralson would have, but I am inclined to give you anything that Miles or um, Aranim had, because those players aren't here, and um, I hope Luke is not watching this and cursing me for being too easy on you guys, but... Um, <laughs> But uh, uh, desk, no. I'm going through the adventure really quick to see if there's anything we're missing. There's there's also a few things that came off of defeating guys that aren't listed here, but I don't know what those are, so. Uh, Uden's Lair was the scroll. Yep, yep, okay. I think you have eight dice of cash. All right. Well, we'll see how far that gets you guys. See if you leave town uh, with people chasing you or not. Um, so I just uh, looked at your homepage and saw that Frozen was not in the session where we killed Crocodile. Oh, okay. Well then, uh, go ahead and one of you take Crocodile's brooch because I know you guys took it. Which um, uh, she had a pearl brooch of Crocodile's neck and claimed it as loot. So yeah, has it. Well, we'll pilfer off our names. Elfy hands. Uh, it's the t pearl chokers were two dice. We are at five cash dice. That's very nice. Yeah, five each. At least. <laughs> uh, but I think uh, maybe we want to keep some of it, so the uh, that can be placed at the next slot, right? The the the, the choker can be placed in the next slot. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, but uh, for uh, this town phase, we have lots of loot. That's great. Yeah. To share only between two. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, so right now, um, Milton, you should have one lifestyle check uh, for yes. the uh, breaking that open, and um, um, <clears throat> and um, Clegg, you have two, I believe. Yep. Awesome. Okay. So, All right, <coughs> Clay. Do you have any personal no. business? Do you want? Do you want to attend to? Um. Yeah, I don't know what I would attend to really here. I don't know. Um, I'm not from here. I don't know anyone here. I don't have anything to do. All right. Well, let me give you the list of things you can do in town. You can uh, go to religious services. Uh, you can use guild hall facilities. You can hire an apprentice. You can find work to do. You can search for somebody. You can go visiting your relatives or friends. You can dig up leads uh, or do research. You can build kits if you lost any of the kits for your skills. Um, you can scribe scrolls. And you can go to market. Those are the things you can do in town. I feel like I'm going to market might not be a terrible idea because I don't have anything anymore. <laughs> right. Like, I don't. I don't really have stuff. Are you, Are you lacking in stuff? Well, I don't even have a backpack these days. Oh That's stuck in a spider web somewhere. Oh my goodness! All right. All right. Sounds good. How about you, Milton? Did you have anything else you want to do before going to market? Uh, before going to the market, uh, I would like to go first to the market, and after that, I will uh, think about doing another thing. Excellent. Okay, so Milton, are you going to go to market in your um, in Paul wearing Paul's cap? <coughs> market is definitely within town. Uh, that's for sure. Um, I think I would like to go with his head and search for my own one. All right, all right. And after that, I change heads. But okay. uh, to get there without any trouble, I will 
go with his head because nobody in Elphia said you have to carry your own conical head. That's not the law. It's only yep. make yourself visible as a mage. So I'm pretty sure I'm not doing anything against the law. Nobody nope. can think anything bad about me if I take this head to get my own. Uh, certainly. Uh, well, that's that's what you would think. Um, and uh, as you arrive in in uh, as you arrive in the market, you see um, you know the market is comprised of a number of local vendors, a number of the locals who sell their crafts to travelers, as well as a number of foreign merchants that um, along as well as a number of foreign merchants that have brought their wares to Elphia's tower, where they hope that the alchemists and magicians, the astrologers and the scholars, the uh, uh, the theologians and the and the um, summoners would have uh, use of of their rare ingredients. So there's a lot of uh, expensive uh, sort of uh, refined goods there. But um, there's also people that just gotta fix the wagon wheels and uh, and 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 patch holes in their roof. So you find a wide array uh, of disparate things found in the market. Um, Okay, um, I'm searching for conical hats. Conical hats, it is. All right, let's look that up. Let me go to the master gear list. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Yep. Is that the master list? That says master gear list. So it is. There it is. There it is. Excellent clothing. All right. Uh, so, a uh, one merchant offers you a um, one merchant offer uh, offers um, for the apprentices, for the lowly, for those who um, for those who don't care how they appear. Um, plain, simple. Uh, bum 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 bum. Plain, simple. What uh, burlap. Burlap stitched together conical hats that kind of flop in or bendy. And another across the way shouts that that's no conical hat. It hardly holds a cone shape. He has fine reinforced leather caps with little with little straps to uh, with little straps to keep them on your head when you're when you're bustling through market. And will even imprint your initials in them at no additional charge for his fine leather leather bound. Conical hats. <clears throat> so, do you want a crappy uh, hat or a fine one? Uh, what's uh, the cash difference? Uh, the cash difference. Or the op difference. Uh, uh, I'll say since you know the ob of all the gear that you would normally purchase, I, you can discuss with them. I assume you talk to them about how many coins they want for each of these. So the plain simple hat is an ob one resources test, and the fine grandiose leather cap with your initials imprinted is an ob two. The man chides that the that the, the hat that the the uh, that the uh, the conical hat you wear now is uh, of such fine quality he can hardly imagine why you'd want to buy. Uh, anything less. Of course, he's trying to goad you into buying one of his. Yes, <clears throat> but he's right. I'm a great magician. I will be soon, so I should be. Why go with a shabby head? So I take the fine one. All right. And, um, <clears throat> All right. Uh, so. Um, are you familiar with resor how resources work? Um, I take my zero resource die. Yep. And plus one from being in your hometown. Plus one for, for hometown. And yeah. He gives I, you a discount yeah. because you're Paul's apprentice. He knows yes. you from your hat. And I add two dice uh, by... Uh, 
using the House of the Three Squires beer. All right. Ah, you'll trade him a whole keg of beer for a hat. He's he uh, he tells you that that while well, that keg will only last him a few nights of pleasure, that hat will last you a lifetime. Yes, and. Uh, you, That's however, know life. that adventures' lifetimes are not always that long. So, uh, normal adventures, but I'm a hero. I return from the dangers of Cobalt Den, so nothing can happen to me. All right. Um, I hope to get two successes. You hope. Three dice. I hope you get them as well. Zero. Um, is there anything I can uh, now? I get uh, a condition, right? Uh, I believe oh, something like that uh, because the cash dice protected me from dropping my resources from zero to <coughs> minus one. <laughs> All right. Uh, taxing resources if GM wishes. When you fail a resources test instead of the standard condition, you may reduce your character's resources by the margin of failure. Like nature, this reduction is called a tax. Um, you can augment your resources with cash. All right. <laughs> Protection. If your resources are zero, you may not make resources. Zero calls. All right, um, so there are, um, so there is, um, uh, I hate it. No, no, it's all good. I, 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 uh, I was waiting to see whether or not wearing your mentor's hat would get you in trouble. And um, as you are uh, as you are haggling with this man, uh, your your um, your uh, um, your uh, you hear a, a shout from behind you. Someone yells, "Paul!" And uh, you 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 don't think of it. He's talking to you. Because that's not your name, but um, but it's so loud that it can't help getting your attention. And the man uh, storms over to you, uh, continuing to bellow and pushing people out of his way. He looks like a burly uh, uh, goldsmith, and he's yelling, "Paul! I told you if I saw you again, I'd..." I saw your face again. I'd put you six feet under. And he's storming over to you. I turn around and try to figure out uh, which Paul he means. This will be an interesting fight to watch. Yeah, yeah. You're you're sure that this huge man is just going to pulverize some poor fellow. And uh, you're thinking it will be a great distraction. Uh, and then you realize he lumbers right over to you, and he uh, and he walks right up to your face, and he says, and he he like points this this uh, this thick finger. You you can't imagine how he could possibly do fine goldsmithing work with these with these meat with these these ham fist these huge hands. He he points to you, and uh, and uh, Clegg, you can certainly decide to be there or not. It's your yep. choice. You didn't help in the thing, so you're not bound by these. By this, but uh, and he uh, he grabs you by the scruff and he pulls you up really close, and then like when he's only when he seems to get really close to you, does he recognize that you're not Paul? You realize he must be very nearsighted, but uh, re but identified something significant about you, and he says he says where's Paul? And he's still holding you very closely. Uh, Paul did as you told him. Uh, he stays away. He, wants yeah. to get, uh, he doesn't want to get you in trouble. He said, then where did that uh, hat come from? I my hands uh, as soon as... 
because uh, I get this fatal result, I get my hat, right? Uh, this is a twist. So the, you'll get your hat depending on the action you take right now. Okay. Ah, no, then if it's a twist, I won't get it. Okay. Uh, that's no problem. Um, uh, I, he just uh, gave, gave it to me to. Uh, um, so he is around! And he like. He like pulls back this big old fist. You think he might strike you, or slap you, or do some kind of violence? He seems incensed. He's like he ho he he holds you and says, uh, "Wait, wait, 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 wait! You want information, right? I want Paul's head. I can tell him where the head to his head is." He's like, "All right, you take me to Paul so I can get my payback." He had sourced my I wife and slept head. on her. I only yeah. have his head because he does not need it anymore. Are he you telling me Paul's dead? dead? No. But you only need those heads if you're in Elphia's Tower. And you know him. He's uh, striving around in the wilderness. He's Paul. The survivalist. What? So what are you telling me? He's gone? He's left town? He's never coming back? Mm, never coming back is uh, such uh, a hard word to say, but he's not in town. That's what I'm saying. He seems to very much want either to have complete revenge on Paul or to... Um, or to know that he'll never be around again to, to uh, trouble his life. Um, but why don't you go ahead and give me a manipulator test and see if you uh, uh, see if you can weasel your way out of this one. I have to begin as luck it. All right. It's all good. Clegg, do you want to uh, assist your friend? Yeah, I would love to assist him. Um... And we are trying to, to convince him that Paul has left, yes? Yep. And that Paul is not in his home right now without his hat on. Yeah, I mean, that would be the last... You can't, you can't be there without his hat. You would get in lots of trouble. Right. Yeah. Excellent. Is that what you tell him? That he couldn't yeah, be in I town? Mean, he didn't have his hat because then he'd get in lots of trouble? Yeah, let's think about this logically. I mean, you know Paul well enough to know that he's clever. And if he was uh, a clever person, would never walk around town without a hat. All right, sounds pretty uh, sounds pretty reasonable to me. All right, uh, you can't earn checks in town, so you can't give me extra dice. But um, I will tell you that I'm rolling three dice. Um, okay. Because um, his will is he does not have manipulator, but his will is five, so he's he's beginner's lucky as well. Um, if I have will four. Mm -hmm. And Clegg helps me. Is it five, half, three dice, or is it... Yes. Yep, you add up all the dice, including helping dice, and then you have and round up. So, and persona points are added later on, right? Correct. Persona points are added after the, the having. Okay, this is Paul, my mentor. Yep. It's very important for me uh, that this stupid bastard of a goldsmith uh, won't... Doesn't go pulverize uh, him? Yep. So I add... Two dice. I have bad luck today. All right. I'm my last persona points. Hopefully to survive until level three, because I think that is enough for him. And now I have five dice. Yep. And it's a master GM who rolls too many successes. This is a Neiman the goldsmith, by the way. Neiman? I have a G Neiman. Yep. Yep. It says something about Paul and. Uh, and sorceling his wife. I only got two successes. I got two as well. So oh, we have a tire. So you cannot. Can I break it to my favor? You you well you have to we have to do a we have to uh, roll nature now since we were rolling will oh no we were rolling we were rolling um we were rolling uh. Mm -hmm. No, we were rolling manipulator before, so manipulator is rooted in will. So now we're going to roll will uh, as the tiebreaker. Normally, you could break it in my favor by using a trade against yourself, but you can't do that in town. 
So you're going to roll six dice because you're still being helped by Clegg. And I'll roll five because his will is five. And, and you can add in traits if you want to on this at this point. Roll well. Roll well, young. Young wizard. Young magician. So I can add thoughtful because uh, my arguments are very uh, convincing because every detail is fitting. Four successes. Huzzah! I only have two. That's great. So, question. Do I get yep. to mark a manipulator test or not? Yes, you get to mark a beginner's luck on manipulator. You don't get to mark a will test, though. The, the, the tiebreaker is not considered a test. Okay, so now I have manipulator at rating 2. Yes. Because I just opened it. Yep. Oh, huzzah. Excellent. So go ahead and mark a personal lifestyle. A, a, mark a lifestyle test. As you, um, as you basically have to spend the rest of the time dodging Neiman and telling Paul to dodge Neiman, but you gain, but, um, but you, I'm sorry? Uh, my idea would to, I would like that Paul uh, gives me his head and takes a new one because uh, he can't be seen with this head anymore in town. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, so so when all this business is done, the leather worker turns to you and says, "So, which initials should I put in this hat?" Wonderful, uh, a double M with uh, uh, with lightning strike uh, M things because uh, that is the fancy way of uh, writing lightning, them. Lightning strike M, so that the like the tines of the M look like lightning strikes. Yes. Nice. So what's Milton's last name? Uh, is, or is that for Milton the Magician? I don't know. I is that what the I, double M is for? Second name, that's, uh, that's just a calling. Um, I never thought about it. Uh, I think it's... I need something. Got to start with an M. <sighs> Could be. No, 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 nothing with an M. But I need. <sighs> Milton Majorite? Milton Magnificent? Nah, that's wonderful. <laughs> I'm just saying, adventures normal often take uh, take new names. That's a common. Yes, um, Mighty Milton. Uh, no. Mighty uh, Milton. Milton, comma Mighty. Uh, yeah. I'll think about it. I told you in uh, sure. two minutes. Yeah, no problem. Take your time. <laughs> All right. So you have you have obtained the hat. Uh, but it did take you. Uh, but but uh, dancing around Neiman is costing you a lifestyle. Um, so uh, Clegg, you've uh, you've aided your friend in just in uh, in uh, calming this man down. He storms off uh, in a huff, and he tells he he gives you the hairy eyeball that you should be careful about wearing other men's hats. <laughs> For sure. And. Uh, Milton, if you want to mark that on your head, you have a fancy leather cap or fancy leather hat. You now have something on your head slot, which is as good as any because it's not like wizards can wear helmets. Yes. All right. Uh, Clegg, did you have anything you wanted to purchase? Uh, yeah, I would like to purchase a satchel. Yeah. Satchel. Replace my... Old satchel. All right. Okay. Well, just so happens that somebody from uh, from the far north, somebody from the um, 
from the mountains uh, has come down. He's a uh, he is a he has a dirt complexion from being in the sun, a wide smile, and he uh, is selling none but the finest of uh, of other works from uh, the mountain the mountain yak skin. That's the best. And, yeah, man, mountain yaks are uh, are tough stuff. And so um, he'll be happy to sell you that satchel at a fair price at that. Fantastic. Oh, um, um, uh, Miles, you can mark a. Oh no, your your resources does not go up because you did not succeed in that test, even though you got the hat. All right. Yes. Uh, but if you succeed in another resources test, it could go up. Um, all right, so Clegg, you have no cash dice. Oh, sorry, Excuse not me. no cash dice. You have no, uh, you have no, no resources. So you just have to throw cash dice at, at um, out at the uh, sh the Sharwa uh, oh. merchant. And I have five of those, correct? Uh, how that works, or? I mean, if that's how you guys split it, yeah. Uh, you guys had ten cash dice between the, between yourselves. Yeah, I'll use. I only need, it's an ob one test, right? Yep, it's an ob one. And you, I only really need, I'll just throw two in. Okay, and you can also throw, once you put one die in and you have a resources rating, then you can put persona towards it if you want as well. Okay. So if, if you want to use persona over cash. Uh, I've only got the one persona, so... Uh. I'll just use the two cash dice to see what happens with this. All right. The man's name is Pasang. Pasang. One success. Awesome. That's all I need. He gladly takes your change. Tells you he'll bring it home to his family. Uh, possibly he'll just spend it drinking tonight in the pub. Um, and uh, so a couple things happen. One, you get a sack. You get a satchel. Which is great. Two, you um, raise your resources to one. Right. All you need is one successful resources test to raise it to one. And three, you spend your coin. All right. Milton, anything else you wanted to acquire in town? In the march yet, rather? Um, Oh, also, now you can help people with your resources because your because you have a resources stat. So you can now help Miles make purchases and give him, give him a helping debt. Great. One moment. So I need to find your face. Uh, here's a handout. I know because I was searching. Um... No, that's good. Way to no check. So, um, I would like to get I try to buy something again. That's the okay. only business I have to do. I want to get um, fresh rations so that uh, Clegg can cook me some fine meals when we are sure. uh, on our way. I yeah. give away uh, one cash dice of silver. All right. And get my hometown bonus for two dice. Excellent. He holds up a uh, he holds up a three uh, rabbits with their skins still on uh, by the ears. Says they'll make fine cooking. Just skin them and fry them up. So that's an op one test, right? That is correct. Op one. And I uh, hope to get at least one success. Or um, you roll, Clay. Do you want to? Roll, Clay, you can help me. Yes. Yeah. I would love to. Cook. Yeah. Those look like they'd be great to cook. Yeah. Yeah. You can. You, Clay, I'm sure knows how to pick out the best rabbits uh, out of the patch. I'm sure he wanted mm -hmm. to give you a. Uh, Okay, so I hope I have more luck than last time. 
and I got three threes. Three threes. No success. All right. Oh, I'm. Oh. Dad comes back. <laughs> All right. Um, well, by the time you're done arguing with this rabbit merchant, and Clay has pointed out to you that um, Clay has pointed out to you that uh, he was trying to give you an uh, old rotten rabbit, and uh, that they wouldn't have lasted a day on the trail. Um, you're 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 in enraged that uh, someone would try to pilfer this. You know, the, he's making Elfia look bad by trying to uh, swindle you here. And you know, your 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 companion should think better of your hometown. And th this merchant, he, he should he should have to wear fancy footwear or something to to distinguish him as a seedy merchant. But uh, you finally get some good rabbits out of him. But uh, it's an infuriating process, and uh, you walk off in a um, walk off in a rage. So uh, uh, Milton, you are angry, and Clegg, you. Uh, have built up a powerful hunger after handling all these rabbits. Feels like maybe you should cook one up and eat it, even though you know you should save them for your adventuring. Uh, Clegg, you're hungry and thirsty. But you get the rabbits. <clears throat> I can't tax your resources, Milton. You got none. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, that's the idea of cash cards, I know. <laughs> so, one, two, three. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I hate it. All right. So. Uh, but you get, but you get them. You have you have fresh rations. Yes, that's that's uh, wonderful because something to eat. All right, Clegg, Anything you're looking for? Um, we're out of light sources, aren't we? I think you are. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try for some torches, then. All right. Um, let's just ob one so I get my one resource die, right? Yep. And then, um... I because I don't have anything. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, uh, Milton could try to buy them if you want. I'm just trying to go back and forth between you guys to keep it... You know. Yeah, I mean, Milton, if you want to try and buy them so that you can get resources, I'm fine with that. We just need them. Okay. If I, if I do talking, maybe I get town bonus because I'm known in this town. Yeah, you're wearing Paul's hat. Have you swapped hats? Whose hat are you wearing right now? Um, or is it taking I, some time for the guy to imprint, make your... Uh, make your uh, Maybe maybe it takes a while for him to customize your hat. Yes. Um. All right. See, look, this took like an hour to make. That was awesome. <laughs> All right, Alex finally has a character sheet. Yeah, an hour good. and a half into the session. <laughs> it's All right, good. Alex. Write down under stock halfling. And under class burglar, okay. Milton, how well, much get, cash are you going to spend on the torches? Sure. Um, are you guys still in town? Torches is of one. Yes, we're in town. Torches is of one. Yes. I don't uh, spend any cash. Two uh, dice, one success. Um, you need you need to spend at least what you 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 have no I believe you have no cash dice unless you bump it up to at least one. Okay, so resources okay. is is funny in that until you have until you have at least one die. Okay, I take another one of the silver. Okay. Things. Two successes. Craig, you're not uh, in for helping me. All right. Excellent. Um, and my resources are now one. I'm maybe you sh maybe you should haggle while angry more often, um, Melta, uh, uh, Melton. It seems like your no nonsense approach to just give me some of your torches, something will hold up. With you all angry and frustrated at the merchants, 
uh, seems to work well. He uh, he gladly takes your silver for some uh, some treated wood that'll burn bright and long. He says. Huzzah. All right. So now you have resources of one. That's All right, Clegg. Uh, anything else you want to buy? No, I think. Well, but, but removing hungry and thirsty in town is it is it easy or not? Because he's a. Uh, yeah, I'm hungry and thirsty. Yep. Well, it doesn't affect your social roles. I don't expect you guys to get into a conflict, so it's not really critical. But yes, once you leave market, it's pro it's easy to go back to the inn and and uh, you've paid for food, so it's not a problem. You don't you're not gonna have to pay to remove it. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, feel like I should try and grab some rations too. All right, sounds good. Uh, so, Alex. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't think we need that many rations, right? Yeah, you guys have two rations now. Um, I mean, Clegg can make those last, but still only two. Al, in your uh, upper right-hand corner, um, uh, uh, in under the abilities, for will, you're going to write down five, and for health, you're going to write down three. Are the circles? Nope. Will and health. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I see little, bar little circles. Five will oh, help. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, Clegg. Yeah. Uh, you don't have any conditions, right? Uh, hungry and thirsty. Uh, but That's you it. can remove it in, in yep. for free because you paid for food. So you don't have any conditions. And if you make the resource roll by leaving town, uh, we can get the fresh condition. So, okay. if you have a, you want to go to the market and buy something, I can help you. You take your resource die, and that's two dice, and you have <coughs> bonus die to uh, resources at the end, right? Yeah, when leaving town, I have a, a plus one there. So. Because how many cash dice worth did you need to protect your resources? One, right? Yeah, you need to you need to spend at least one cash die when you're leaving to protect your resources. Okay, that's cool. All right. So, it's impossible to have two separate conversations over a hangout. I've realized you. It's not like yeah. at a table where like two people can talk to each other and two other people can talk to each other. Because I'm like. I want you guys to talk about town strategy, and I want to talk to Alex about what his character says is, but it doesn't work. Um, no. It's okay. We'll take turns. You, you can text me short pieces of information, I think. Can do, you you do, see the, do you see the Google Hangout chat in the side? I can't see it right now, but I can get it from my phone. What the hell did I do? <laughs> 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 oh, technology. Uh, do you have a copy? You don't have a copy of Torchbearer on you, do you? I don't. Okay. Problem. Um, all right. I will, uh, I will shoot you over chat the details then. Okay. I'm going to have to give my phone up. I don't know. Hold on. I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> Okay, so what are you guys thinking in terms of market? You getting any more rations, or are you? Uh... Um, well, I mean, I guess I can make the fresh rations that we have last a little bit, rather than risk some of our uh, finances. Awesome. Uh, it's so I want to get rid of angry and pass my resource test. That's the last thing I would like to do. Yep. So that's another personal business, or, or no? It's an extra point for to pay because I'm staying at the inn, right? Uh, right. I think well, the flop house gives you, um, flop house gives you one free test and then one more test. Yes. Um, so that's a will test for me. But I don't, I don't know if it costs you anything or not. I don't remember if the second test costs anything. It costs. It probably uh, does. Flop right. house. And it's excluding exhausted or sick, so I can get rid of 
Uh, Emily. Yeah. Oh, four successes. I'm so good at getting rid of Emily. I think uh, I will tell Paul the story about uh, Neiman. Uh. We start laughing about this stupid bastard because uh, I tricked him. That's great. Yeah. And I was just gonna say I, I was gonna give you an extra die, but you didn't need it because Paul was gonna give you wine to drink. Um, uh, to drink with him. Wonderful. Uh, but instead, you can fill your wine skin with wine if you'd like. Uh, Paul will send you off with wine as he thanks you for saving his butt. Um, as he thanks you for saving his butt. Uh, um, uh, with Neiman. Um, and uh, blushes a little bit when you mention Neiman's wife. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps Neiman had a, re a reason to uh, be angry with your mentor after all. It's possible, but it's Paul. It's Paul. It's well, why it did also uh, want it. Oh, of <laughs> course. Yeah, naturally. Because it's Paul. It, always two persons uh, that b b betray the husband. So uh, no one is innocent. <laughs> Except Paul. Except for possibly Neiman <laughs> or Paul. <sighs> awesome. Okay. So, um, Clegg, when you go back to the inn, you're, you're fed and you can remove hungry and thirsty. Um, and uh, and um, and uh, uh, and then I think you guys are going to leave town. Is that correct? Uh, that that should be the plan, right? Yes. Cool. Um, let's get Al back in the conversation then. I'll be right back. Okay. Hey, Al, you still around? <laughs> of course I am. Awesome. Okay. So um, before before these, uh, you, you're around, but wait a second. Awesome. <laughs> Before these uh, intrepid adventures just, my, leave... i got to figure out my box stand in the... you got to figure out what? <laughs> Try killing your video, Al. Your, your connection is super choppy. See if that'll improve your... Give me an idea. The problem is they turn phone on, which is another device to turn it off. I see. Okay. So it's a yeah. Well, video might be video might also factor into bandwidth. So um uh so before mm -hmm. ye, the ye, ye, ye old interpretive ventures leave, um oh, now we've lost him. This is feeling like a bad idea. Connection issues are not fun times. Yeah. Um, I would like to have you guys, since none, since none of you dug for leads, um, I'm going to use um, I'm going to use Al's new character as your lead, uh, which means you don't necessarily get any information about where you're going where the next adventure is, but it will at least give you a lead to it. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and invite him in. Why don't we wrap up your town things, and let's uh, have you guys leave town. Okay, you, can, okay. you can meet him on the road. Uh, so, um, who wants to go first? Um... I already spent four cash dice. All right. For from our ten, you did not I need spent. that much, right? Um, 
Can we help us at the resource test? Uh, I don't... I don't... Personal, right? I don't know. I, I, I'm inclined to say yes, but haggling is specifically you can't help, so leaving town you might not be able to help. One second. Personal business, recovery in town, digging for leads. All right. Um, Al, how's your reception right now? Good, kind of. Cuz in and out. Seems to be good in just a second. Although, now you're all frozen. Well, yeah, I, I, I strongly suggest killing uh, killing video because I think without it you'll, or at least, or set it down to low resolution. Um, kill video? Hold on. Kill video. Like that? Yeah. Can you still hear me? Awesome. Yep, we can hear you. So, um, okay, leaving town. Free refills. You may refill your skins with water, unless pro prohibited by a town event. Re-memorizing spells. You can uh, uh, okay. Paying your bills. When you leave town, you pay your debts. Total your lifestyle cost. Uh, Yeah, it doesn't indicate you can't, but since it's in, I'm gonna say no because it feels a lot like recovery to me. We should probably yes. check check it out because each person has to pay their own. So I don't know how you're helping another person pay their bills if you got to pay your own bills. So. <clears throat> Yeah, so everyone's gonna do it. Everyone's gonna do it solo. I, if I use my last cash dice mm -hmm. and add my resources, yep, and add my hometown bonus, I'm at free dice. What's and your I'm lifestyle? Top three. Should I go first, and then you can have any leftover cash in there? Uh. You only spend two, right? I only spend two. I get a free. I get one d free for my haggle roll from earlier, and I have resources of one, so I already start with two dice. And how many do you need to pay? Two lifestyle. Yeah, you I would think pay you... with one clack full of uh, beer. They had four dice and should possibly make it, right? I'm, I'm willing to. Uh, Willing to risk that. All right. Then you'd have one cash that I left over. You could give um, give Milton. Yeah. So I'm rolling four dice. Yeah, sounds like. I have two. That's all you need. That's all I need. All right. All right. If you have a can, um, if yeah. you uh, pass the test and have no conditions but have tax nature. You may recover one point of nature, but do not start fresh. If everything is full up, you are now fresh. I believe I'm fresh. Excellent. Great. All right, Elton, uh, I think you have an additional cash die from Clegg, unless Clegg wants well, four dice, but I need three successes, so go die. Easy. I did it. Huzzah. Just one free and three successes, so it's another pass resource test, right? Wonderful. Yes. Yeah. So you. So now you can each mark. So next to your resources, each mark one pass test. Uh, it can't go up more than once in town, but next time you come to town, it could go up to two. Holy moly! Craziness. Yes. All right. So on the road, Al, you there? I am. Awesome. So, yes. Alex, when uh, what is what is your halfling burglar's name? Um. Oh, yes. Yeah. 
you hear that? No. Say it again. Amos. Say it one more time. A M O S. Amos. Amos. Awesome. Amos. <laughs> See, what I heard was a few different letters in the middle. <laughs> and, I, and I was pretty sure I heard it wrong, but I wanted to verify, and I'm glad I did. All right, so when Amos the halfling is also leaving town, Fresh just set on an adventure, and he's heard of a mountain top uh, far to the north. He's heard from a traveling merchant, a, a, a yak sale, a yak leather salesman. He's heard from this merchant about uh, the possibility of riches in the north from a um, a mountain, uh, Stone Dragon Mountain, that has uh, after an avalanche. The, um, the 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 dragon's maw at the top of the mountain is reported to have the ice is cracked open, and uh, there is there is uh, there is uh, there is uh, stories and and myths about treasures that might be within. And uh, Amos trying his luck at uh, at the mountain realizes that uh, a, a party of one is a small party indeed. What draws him to these two adventurers as they leave? Milton, the magician, with a fancy leather hat, conical hat, and Clegg, the dwarven adventurer, with a mighty fine, now once again cleaned, but I think still has a couple stains on it, white apron. The blood stains will never come out. The blood stains will never come out of that apron. <laughs> So uh, what what draws him to these two people? Me? It's probably the pressure of whatever was chasing me. Nice. So so uh, so uh, Amos, why don't you write down on your uh, on your character sheet under enemy? Oh jeez. Uh, Neiman the goldsmith. Who? Who? Demon? Neiman. Neiman. N i e m a n. The goldsmith. Okay. And Milton, when you see a young halfling being chased out of town by Neiman, what uh, what uh, calls you to uh, have sympathy? What what causes you to have sympathy on this person who is clearly being chased off by uh, a, a mutual foe? The enemy of uh, my enemy is my friend, so it's a natural thing to ask him uh, why this stupid bastard of Neiman is chasing him, and it's always good to have another pal around uh, if you have a, a long way to go and uh, no way to go. <laughs> so I think. So we start chatting uh, uh, by joking uh, about Neiman and his uh, not so bright mind. Yeah, yeah, talented goldsmith. Not not much. Maybe all maybe all those fumes from melting gold have gotten to him. So Neiman, uh, sorry, Amos, why did you? Amos, what did you do did to want... piss Neiman off? Nothing. It was it's mistaken identity. It wasn't me. All right, it's mistaken identity wasn't you. Um, it wasn't my fault. Was it? Was it not you? If uh, you'd like a a gold ring worth a cash die on your finger. Mm -hmm. Amos, are you are you sure it's not you? Uh, if you would like a a. a, a is it you that? Let me ask you: Are you the halfling burglar running out of town with a gold ring on your finger, made by Neiman? You still there, Al? Uh, not feeling it. Not feeling it at all. Okay, excellent. 
<laughs> nope, we lost him. Okay. Um, I think that sounds like just as plausible an event, a, a party uh, gathering as we need. Uh, I'm going to talk to Al about next time about trying to connect up on a landline or something that has better connection because this was kind of a uh, terrible performance all night. Luckily, it wasn't too important because we were in town. But um, so, uh, so you have a, an adventure lead um, that the halfling uh, knows about called uh, Stone Dragon Mountain. Uh, next session when we start up, you guys will have made a long trek to get there. And uh, we'll start at the base of the mountain. And um, and uh, we'll figure out who the party leader is. Uh, because with each adventure, we change party leaders. And um, if, it, if someone had dug it up, if someone had dug up the lead, then they would usually be the party member. But because I pretty much am just giving it to you by way of... Uh, the next, the newest player character showing up. I'll let you guys just decide amongst yourselves. Um, so cool, we did that in record time. Got all the way through town. Only took us a couple hours. Um, let's. Uh, I think that's it. I don't think we do Arda at the end of town phase. Town is not really a. Um, Although, what's what's uh, Milton's belief? I'm out of curiosity. Uh, my belief is uh, careful planning is better than headless action. Okay. What's your uh, goal? Well, you don't have a goal because it's town phase. Or uh, awesome. That that's the other thing we'll do as well. Last one road downwards to carry everything uh, worth out of the dungeon. Nice. <laughs> It's, uh, but we did not make a new goal at the start of the session. Or right, or right. It was town phase. Nice. Town phase sits outside of. Town phase seems to sit outside of the whole normal process. Like it's like a, it's like a different game than the regular game. Like it doesn't. I don't think but it really interacts with with the other pieces. We write a new goal for the Stone Dragon Mountain, right? Yeah, I'll give you guys a little intro at the beginning of it. Uh, with some prompts, and then and then ask you to write a new goal. Then so there'll be there'll be a few things you learn on your way there that'll read at the beginning of the session, and then you guys will set a goal. Uh, much like when you first arrive at, at uh, under the house, and you know you, you realize things were wrong. Uh, once you've kind of gotten the lay of the land, I'll let you guys uh, set a goal then. Uh, so thank you, gents. Um, Sorry, we had some technical hiccups, but I think we got through it. Got through it just fine. Um, and um, and uh, yeah, I think that's all. I'll I'll work with Chris to have him uh, do town stuff. I think we'll just sort of probably handle it over email, um, and then get you guys all back together. And I'll set out a doodle for next time. Cool. Uh, thanks for running us through our first town phase. Oh yeah, no uh, problem at all. I think it went smooth. I think it went smooth well. It is smooth as well. I mean, I think we. Uh, it's supposed to be mostly transactional with a little bit of role playing elements, and I think uh, that's pretty much what we had. Yes. It wasn't. And uh, fantastic ends. We are fresh again. And you're fresh. I know that's amazing. I'm actually quite uh, impressed that you guys walked out of this fresh. So, good job. The one thing we've done this whole time. next session. <laughs> What'd you say? We have fresh characters. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know a whole group of fresh characters. I don't know what I'm going to do with all your crazy dice rolls. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll find a way to find one. Yeah, I'm sure we'll. I'm sure we'll find a way to get rid of fresh. <laughs> it's easy. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Cool. Thanks a lot, Sean. Thank you. Talk to you later.